Hi, guys. Hey, how's it going? We are back mid-month. You know what that means. That means the numbers are out. We've got the numbers. <laughs> and, you know, I love the numbers. See what's happening in our local county here. At Dirt County, we're active every single day looking at homes and prices. And we get the numbers every single month from... Berkshire Hathaway. Yes. <laughs> so we... We are bringing them to you, so <laughs> let's get started. Um, the first number here, new listings, this is year to date, is up 21.62%. So that is very exciting because, you know, the inventory has been so tight the past few years that it's always been a constant conversation about inventory. So this was a great number to, to see that our inventory is growing slightly year to date through this year from last. So that's great news. Yeah, we can feel it. We can see it in the market. It's up 20%. So, you know, is that great news? That's great news for everybody. It's even great news for sellers, even though they want scarcity in the market. But you definitely want a healthy market. You want a balanced market. Well, we're still not balanced. It's still tilted slightly, would you say, towards yes. the sellers? Yes. However, buyers are having more choices and buyers love that. Choices give them options. Options help them find the perfect home. That's right, that's right. So our next one, sold listings is up 0.24%. So it's basically flat. So year to date, we've sold the same number of homes as last year, year to date, but we have a little bit more uh, inventory. That's right, inventory's growing. Sales, are, we're selling the same number of homes but the inventory is growing, giving buyers more options and helping them find the perfect home instead of selling for a home that they might not enjoy for as long as they will the perfect home. One of the numbers here that has surprised <laughs> me is the median home price is up 5.2% year to date to 930000 So what that means, you know, home prices are still go going up. And so even at these numbers, because our prices here have gone up quite a bit in the last few, few years, but people that are waiting for the interest rates to come down, they it's just going to cost them more and more and more because the prices keep going up. Even though our inventory has gone up, prices have gone up. The median price up 5%. I thought that was a lot. That is a lot. And what you're looking at here is a total lack of overall inventory. Even though we've gotten more houses listed on the market, ultimately we're still underbuilt for what's going on not only here in Ventura County, but across the country. Yeah, the macro demand. Um, so then the median days on, on market is down from 26 to 23, again saying that things are moving. And then the average sold price is up 9.99%. So the average sold price is up 10% to 1.2 million. Right, so if you're in July, seventh month, you're up 10% this this year already that's an astounding number i'm just i was just shocked by these because we haven't seen numbers like this um and in this market we we're just surprised i mean that surprised me which is why i like to share them <laughs> with you so you know what's happening that's right for everybody that owns a home in ventura county you're basically looking at 10 percent across the board now there are areas that have gone up more than 10% and their areas that haven't gone up 10%. So this is an aggregate of the whole county. So it's almost a street by street deal. Well, on, like real estate always is. Yes, I mean, this street is something, the street over is something different, the street over from that, something different. Probably one of the most vivid examples of that is we've got lanes at the beach. Some lanes at the beach are more desirable than other lanes, but if you look on the map, they all look identical. Right, right. That's why you want to hire expert agents like we are. Um, the average days on market is went down from 44 to 36. And then the other surprising thing is, even with inventory rising, the average list price to sold price is still over 100%. So properties are still closing over the asking price, and that's due to demand um, at 100.3%, which we had never seen until the last co uh, couple years, but it continues to be um, over 100%. So that surprised me too. Yeah, it's all in pricing. It's all in list price. So they're doing that list price to sold price. 
However, if you take a home, let's say $2 million, just a random number, and then you reduce the list price to a million five, and then it sells for a million five fifty, that's a, over 100% of the list price, but it doesn't use the original list price. Now, I wanted to go back to days on market where you said that's huh? down. Yes. To what? What did you say it was? The average is 36. And it's, it was 44, and it's down now to 36. So right. homes, even though inventory is growing, the days on market are down because homes that are ready to go, that they've been dialed in, fluffed up, and put on the market at the right price, they're not sitting there at all. Right, right. Especially if you're in the under a million price range, um, that's now the entry level here. Those are going the quickest, which is always true. The entry level in any market goes first. <laughs> it does, unless you know. Back in the past, condominiums are not really entry level, and I say that um, just a little bit with a re reservation. What I'm saying is. Condominiums are the first to the party in a rising market and they're the first gone in a falling market. Now we're still in a rising market, so the condominium sales are still strong. In fact, that's a great entry level product for a lot of people that can't afford a single family home that now is reaching a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Well, in a condo, to try and buy a, con a condo, you're going to start, I mean, 400 and up just to find a, an entry level condo now. So, yeah. It's crazy. Buy and wait, though. Don't wait to buy. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Um, so that's our update on the numbers. I always think it's interesting to bring them to you. If you just as a little um, update, you know, the median is exactly in the middle from where the pe things sell above it and things sell below it. The median is in the middle. And then the average is the whole market divided by the number in the market. So just to, to kind of tell you how you get to the difference because sometimes I think it's confusing for those of us that haven't been to school in a while. Yes, <laughs> the median. <laughs> <What's> the, median? <laughs> <laughs> the best of the worst and the worst of the best. That's the median right there. Right. So it's kind of in the middle. You get a couple of large properties sell in there, you know, in the 10 million range. That can sure push the median up very quickly. Generally speaking, that doesn't happen. Yeah, another thing that we're seeing is, you know, the condition of the property there is a lot of negotiation going on after acceptance of an uh, acceptance of an offer um, on condition and things that, that need to get taken care of. So don't wait. If you have questions about what you think your home might need to get it ready to sell, we are always happy to have that conversation. Yeah, absolutely. Have the conversation. Do a walkthrough. We'll take a few notes and we'll pass those notes on to you so you have them. That way we can be on the same page. Very important to communicate and help you get top dollar for your home. Absolutely right. So you know if you're thinking about real estate, you want to have a conversation about it in any way, shape, or form, you know where to find us. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge.